Good evening, YouTubers. This is a guy with the Quebecois accent with an update on my synthesizer on an FPGA project. So since last time, I've refactored and cleaned up the code to make it easier to add features in the future. And I've cleaned up my uh, physical setup a little bit. I've added a second SPDIF output. So the first one still goes to the DAC, which is now connected straight with RCA cables and a BNC to RCA adapter to the scope. And the other uh, SPDIF output goes to uh, my powered speakers. And I've added a couple of encoders to control the waveform and pitch of uh, the synthesized sound. And as promised, there's sound. So I've also added a mute button because it can get pretty loud and annoying when I'm working on it. So if I unmute, we've got the first sawtooth wave, the square wave, which has a bit, a bit of a slant, um, especially at lower frequencies. And that is actually due to the DAC, uh, which is probably AC coupled because the square is really synthesized square. The next waveform available is a triangle. And I've added a fourth waveform for now, which is just a funky little thing, uh, which is uh, a mix of the square and triangle. I use the most significant bit of the square and the least significant bits of the triangle and I get this uh, weird mashup. But going back to the sawtooth, so you've already seen the effect or heard the effect of the pitch control knob. So it's pretty smooth. It's quite sensitive though, so it's it's hard to control, but that's not you know the point really. And then it goes really low into the sub audio so the same circuit can be used as a LFO or your main oscillator so that's pretty much the updates uh, for this video uh, next time uh, probably either envelopes or MIDI input or who knows and remember Keep your video intros and outros short.